Well, hello, Virgos. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into your reading, see what's going on with you today, Virgos. See how you guys are doing. Okay. Some type of justice coming towards you. Ooh, Virgo. Here I have the Page of Swords. Someone is fine looking, gathering information. Here I have the Queen of Wands. You guys are in that mode. Remember, Virgos, what I was telling you guys, this is about, you know, working on yourself, making yourself look good, feel good, things of that nature. And here I have the Knight of Pentacles. This could be also your energy too. Not saying that no one is not coming in, but this could be your energy too when it comes down to working. This is part of focusing on you, your job. Um, and how people perceive you. Now here at the bottom of the deck, I'm going to be honest, <laughs> here the, the tower is talking about something coming in suddenly, suddenly, um, and it's kind of like you, it was unexpected. You didn't expect for something to happen. This is going to catch you off guard type of energy. So let's go ahead and get one more card. Here with the Ten of Wands, so there's going to be some type of relief. So I do feel like it's something that you are wanting that's going to cause you to feel relief. Or maybe even your person, make the, it's some type of uh, something that's going to cause you guys to put down some type of burden. You do have someone that has feelings for you here with the cu uh, King of Cups, Virgo. Maybe that's part of the burden. Maybe someone is holding something in. The, the King of Cups don't express themselves. They don't tell you how you feel how they feel this is kind of like a secret emotion secret type of thing um but yeah i'm definitely seeing there is going to be some type of action here um with this um king of cups i'm not going to say what that night yeah i do believe someone is coming in for you but i feel like mostly with this night i mean this king this king is going to be the thing because i totally feel like there's going to be someone going to come in and express how they feel um or just talk to you because they do have feelings for you so let's go ahead and clarify these cards. Not clarify, let's get four more. What am I talking about? What am I talking about, Virgo? So yeah, there's some type of movement here, some type of attention. I feel like with the Page of Swords and that Chariot, I mean, you're really getting some type of attention, some type of recognition. A lot of this is like eyes are on you type of thing. Um, and again, you can kind of see it here with the sun card. People are people can see you in the sun, right? Things are bright. Um, so something that you're going to be doing, and I have a feeling that it has something to do with the way you look, the way you feel. Um, this is moving into like the future type of energy. Um, there is, I mean, beauty all around you, Virgo. So let's go ahead and get some more cards here. You guys know I'm all about it, right? all about it <laughs> improving okay so the first one I have ooh, now here I do feel like this is you healing from disappointments things of that nature I feel like someone is going to come back that eight of cups I do not feel like that has anything to do with um, someone leaving I feel like you've already done that I feel like this is more so maybe possibly someone from the past coming back in but look at how amazing this is I feel like um, you're working on yourself and there there could be someone that's kind of like watching, spying on you. But I feel like this is you working on your body, working on your money, working on your mind, things of that nature. You're building, okay? And you're going to be, I mean, look at what you're going to reap, okay? So what you invest is what you're going to get back. So you're putting a lot into yourself and you're going to reap very nicely, for it, okay? And I also believe that there's someone who's been thinking about you. Maybe you, you've been knowing this person for a while, and there is this little hint of what I'm saying that someone wants to come in and talk to you. Uh, but let's go ahead and get this page of swords. Here the page of swords I have, ooh, okay, I have the nine of cups. So someone is... This is like someone's dream or someone's wish or desire. Somebody is watching you and they have feelings for you. They have some type of, you make them feel good, that type of thing. Look at this. This is the Two of Cups. So I really do feel like this does have something to do with a connection, the way you make someone feel, the way, um, you know, when they think about you, things of that nature. So let's go ahead and get the Queen of Wands. Let's see what else we have here, Virgo. All right. 
right. Okay, we have the king and the queen. That is a couple here. This is very much so two, two people who are very much alike, who are doing things. And I also feel like this may have something to do with someone from your past because it's falling right above uh, your three of swords. I feel like this is the energy you, some of you guys are going to be meeting. If it's no one from your past, I feel like this someone is going to be exactly like you, but not like you. Both of you guys are going to be hardworking. You're on your grind. Both of you guys are good looking, that type of thing. I mean, it, it's kind of hard to not see that because the queen is very sexy and beautiful and energetic. And then the first card that comes out clarifying the queen is her mate, which is the king. So I do feel like you guys are going to be more so going going into that energy. The king of wands attract a lot of attention, just like you. They attract a lot of different people wanting them. Um, and then look, this is the magician. This is talking about making things happen, making things work here. Okay. So when I tell you, this is a very like, and it's almost like magic. You guys are very magical together. You guys will be very magical together. This is really good. So let's go ahead and get the knight of pentacles. Okay, so here with the moon card, I feel like someone has grown up a little bit. This does show that maybe possibly someone in the past may have had secrets. Part of the reason why you may have walked away before because someone has some secrets and they, you know, you may have found out about it. Maybe you used some type of intuition. You knew that there was something going on. But this is talking about moving into um, new cycles, like leaving things behind, not repeating old cycles over and over again. And part of leaving was saying, no, you know, you want to start fresh. You want to start new. You want things differently. OK, so let's go ahead and get that 10 of wands. Ooh, the 10 of wands is being clarified by the sun. So something is going to be. Um, that's going to make you really happy. So it's like you're no longer in this, you're being relieved, but not just being relieved of some type of issue or problem or something that you wanted. Um, it's something that's going to make you feel very happy here. This is also a Leo card. I'm not sure. I don't like to say any um, signs, but I cannot help but to see that I see um, fire here with the King of Wands, also Pisces and the Sun. Um, so I do believe that someone may have Leo in their chart or Pisces somewhere in their chart, possibly. Um, but look at what it is here at the bottom of the deck. This is why, because now this is talking about a decision. Someone is making a decision for partnership, um, for being with you. We saw it there with the two of cups before that there was some type of connection between you and someone that's bringing happiness to not just you, but this, uh, this other person, someone wants to build with you. Really good. Let's go ahead and get the chariot. Someone wants to invest. Okay. So here I have the six of swords. This do talk about, again, if this is someone from the past, they want to kind of come in and, um, you know, kind of make peace if there was some type of issue before. Like I said, there could have been some type of disappointment. Someone walked away. Now this person wants to come back in. I didn't forget that the justice card, you know, flipped up. It, it, I wouldn't go back in the deck because it made a T, but I usually say that. Um, I wouldn't put them on a, I wouldn't put it on the, the, the table, but I put it back in the deck, but I do want to say what it was. It was the justice card. And this is part of the justice. Maybe this person wants to come in and to apologize and to make things right. Part of that six of swords energy. And it also talks about, you know, maybe um, you moving on and finding someone that can make you happy. Oh, look at this here at the bottom of the deck, the Knight of Cups. So this is love. There is definitely some type of offer coming in. Someone who's going to love you. We saw the King of Cups. There is love in this reading. Okay, that you're going to be encountering. So let's go ahead and get that queen. Uh, I'm sorry, that I said queen of swords. <laughs> I saw the queen of swords flip over, but it went back. Let's go ahead and get that three of swords. So I feel like you cut someone off because of this energy, because of what has happened. You stop talking to someone. But there's, ooh, wow. Here's the ace of wands. Now this is hit this is hitting right below the king and the queen. Okay? 
very sexual, very drawn energy, very compatible. Something that's going to make you feel very excited here, Virgo. Okay. Um, you know, we have the love, right? We have this person who has feelings, some type of feelings for you. And then here's the ace, the ace of wands coming in, definitely showing some type of passion that this person feel. Someone is definitely going to take some type of leap of faith and come towards you, or you're going to go towards someone. There is this type of energy here. Um, with someone taking a risk here. There is some type of energy that makes me feel like this person may be a little, a little fearful if they come towards you. Maybe they feel like they're going to fail or something like that. Um, but someone is going to take a leap of faith here and it's going to be really good. I just feel like this is just in their mind. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get the Eight of Cups. Oh, wow. This is amazing. So it does, the whole point of the Eight of Cups is the person going to get their Two of Cups and the Two of Cups actually came out. This is so bomb. I love it. This is amazing. So right next to it, we do see that it looks like love is coming in your life. Look at the last bottom row, Virgo. This is amazing. The Six of Swords talk about finding peace, someone coming back in, the Ace of Wands, something brand new and passionate. It's just so, ugh, right? And then here you have the Two of Cups. This is kind of like embracing. You've been knowing this person for a while and you know, you've embraced them because you miss them. You want them. You want to feel their touch, that type of thing. Um, so it makes sense why this is, um, you know, the person walked away. So you guys are now coming back together, that type of thing. This is for some of you guys who have dealt with past energy. And for others, if this is new, this is kind of like someone is, you know, you walked away and found your new love. But I really do feel like someone is walking away from something for you. They're leaving something behind for you, Virgo. And at the bottom of the deck, look at how great this is going to be. Because they did that, look at how this relationship is going to be rewarded here with the Ace of Pentacles. This is talking about long-term committed relationship. Not only that, this also looks like when it comes down to money, this is this connection in general, this is going to be a lot of reaping here. Okay. So it makes sense why that king of the king and queen was there. This is kind of like it was divinely guided type of relationship. Two people who are like um, type of thing. Okay. All right. So this actually came out. Whatever you work hard for, you're going to definitely reap that. Here with the Ace of Pentacles, which is in harmony with the Seven of Pentacles, which talks about what you invest here. This is, remember, working on yourself. This is what I was saying earlier. Working on yourself, building yourself, and look at how sexy you're going to be, okay? This is male or female. Sexy energy, all right? Once you're building yourself, that's the reason why you're so happy. Um, here with the two of pentacles, things are looking up. There is no more, um, feeling, you know, feeling sad days, having that type of energy. And this is amazing. I was just about to say juggling and true enough, there's the night. So I feel like this is someone that's going to focus more so on you. You may have been dealing with someone in the past who was juggling you and other people. And now they're going to be more so in a committal type of relationship. Um, but you know, of course this, this is over time because this night becomes that king that this night grows up and matures. So this is really good. Even financially, things are looking up for you financially, even when it comes down to how you're looking and your outer appearance. Remember the sun talks about the way you look to other people, looking good, getting a lot of attention here. So physically, you guys are gonna be changing. And remember, I was, I don't know if a lot of you guys know, but I've been telling you on the phone, like exercising and nutritionist and all of that, that's what I'm doing. Um, so it's, you know, I wanted this drastic thing with myself. So, but I definitely feel like your person is going to come in and they're going to, um, want to, um, invest more into you, um, and try to make up for something that has happened in the past. But I do believe that you guys are going to be moving on into a more committal type of relationship, whether it's past or new. So this is your reading Virgo. It's absolutely amazing. If you guys are new, um, make sure you please like and subscribe and Virgo, I will see you guys back here again tomorrow. All right, bye guys.